The One UI 8 update has rolled out for the Samsung S24 FE mobile phone. The size of this update is 3295.73 MB and the security patch has been updated to September 2025. There is a huge list in the change log for this update. You can pause the video and check it if you are interested. In this video, I'm going to share my user experience after updating this phone. Along with that, I will also show you some Geekbench and 3D Mark testing results before and and after the update we will compare and observe the performance and finally i'll share some photos and video samples before and after the update the update took around 10 to 20 minutes make sure you do not press any buttons while the phone is updating all right i successfully installed the new update coming to the changes Honestly, you won't see any major difference from One UI 7 to One UI 8. At first glance, everything almost looks the same. But yes, there are some new additions in certain areas. For example, new widgets have been added, a new lock screen style is available and the list goes on. Overall, there are changes but they are more at a deeper level. On the surface, things look very similar. You can always check the update details page for complete information. I showed it at the start of the video. Now here are the 3D Mark and Geekbench test side by side. I tried my best to start the test with 100% battery but do take the battery percentage as a secondary here. So here are the results. In 3D Mark, the score and stability actually improved after the One UI 8 update. Overall, we can say it's better by looking at the numbers. Coming to Geekbench CPU performance, there is a slight drop in scores compared to before. For the GPU performance, it clearly improved. You can also see the same in the 3D Mark results. The stability and GPU scores are better than One UI 7. Here are some images taken at different zoom levels. For my observation, there is no major improvement or decline in the overall quality. The file size of the photos is also almost the same. Some images may look brighter here, but that's mainly because of sunlight conditions during the capture. Next, here is a 4K video at 30 FPS recorded at different zoom levels. This also looks the same as before. When checking the video file size for one minute, it's also the same. After using the phone for 48 hours, I found the battery backup is almost the same as before. In fact, I did notice a slight improvement but nothing major. Also, I didn't find any lags or glitches during my usage. So finally, yes, you can go ahead and update your phone. You will notice improvements in GPU performance and some under the hood changes. But do note that you won't find many major noticeable changes compared to One UI 7. That's the video. I hope this was useful and helpful for you. 
if else kindly appreciate me by liking this video commenting with your update feedback and subscribing to stay connected for more future videos